you too. And this is the DBT Game Show. This is episode 111. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the um, Resident Evil 3 Let's Play. I had a lot of fun making it. I do plan to do a new one very soon. But today, it's time for a new review. Um, today I'm going to review Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood for the Nintendo DS. Now, an RPG Sonic game. When I first saw it, I thought, awesome. This is probably going to be really, really good. Although, it didn't turn out the way I expected it to do. And I shall explain what I think of it when I start the review. So, let's have a look at this then. Right, um, now that the camera's in position, we can start the review. Uh, Sonic Chronicles of Dark Brotherhood. Well, the story isn't really that complex as far as, um... It really isn't really that complex. A lot of RPGs these days have really good storylines. Like the Final Fantasy series. Um, but the story in Sonic Chronicles of Dark Brotherhood it is very simple. All you... The story is basically... An evil alien race of echidnids have um, stolen the Chaos Emeralds and you have to go get them back. That's all I got from it. So, yeah. Um, the graphics of the game, well... Let me just load my file and I will show you one of the major problems with the graphics in the game. Okay, your top screen's all your, all your map, right? And your character's on this side here. And your destination's there. Well, on your bottom screen is where all the action happens. And the graphics, I have to say, they're very good, they're very cartoony and very comic book like. Like, although I have noticed one giant complaint with the actual uh, graphics themselves, there is a major problem in a lot of the level maps with perspective. That means that some of the objects look like you can jump on them, but you can't. You know, some objects look flat, some objects look 3D, and it's disoriented to say the least. So uh, the graphics have perspective problems. The controls for the game, well the controls of the game, it's stylus only. So, it's very similar controls to um, Kojoko for Zana, which I reviewed earlier on last year. Um, the music for the game, it's pretty good. Crush 4 is not on it, but the music is still pretty good. The gameplay, it's an RPG, and the gameplay, as far as I'm concerned, it's okay. The good stuff about the game, well the story, it's, it keeps you entertained, that's basically it. The cutscenes, they're pretty good I suppose. The gameplay, it's quite a lot of fun going through dungeons and um, killing enemies. Uh, characters, there's, a lot, there's quite a lot of characters in the game. <laughs> and you get to play as... Um, you get to play as Knuckles, Sonic... Uh, Tails, Amy Rose, Rouge the Bat, Big the Cat, Cream the Rabbit. There's also this Dr. Robotnik, which you get to play as. And there's also um, this character called Shade, I think. So there are a lot of characters in the game that you can play as. There are several shops in the game, so you can buy equipment for your um, characters. Although there's not that many... There's not that many shops. There's, only, there's less than five shops in the entire game. And the equips don't really make any difference to your character at all. Most of the um, battle sets in life are you get in all these um, touchscreen actions right. Uh, I'll find one enemy and show you one battle because... Yeah. I... Might not be very good because I'm I haven't played this game in a long time. 
right you have power at the base you have attacks which you can just do without any problem power moves you have to do a special act I'm gonna try to do the axe kick on the um, big guy then I'm gonna have tails tinker with the enemy Uh, Knuckles can use the uppercut on the enemies. And A mate can use low bro. <laughs> the, the battles do seem pretty easy. Although I have beaten this game three or four times now, and all your stats carry over to your next select. To your, to your next playthrough. Um, but the problem I have with the battle system is if you screw up once on the um, on the um, touch screen um, thing is, you um, moves can either miss completely or do very little damage. So the battle system is needlessly complicated. Um, there's very little else I can say about the game. So, um, let's go to the bad stuff. Well, the bad stuff about Sonic Chronicles Dark Brotherhood, there is quite a lot to complain about. My first complaint is this. The game is very, very short. You can beat the game very quickly. Even on your very first playthrough when your levels are going to be a, a little bit low. Um, the graphics, as I mentioned before, there are several perspective problems. And this can be very disoriented at times. Um, the battle system, I feel like it's needlessly complicated. And I would like to something a little bit more simple, Sega. Or Bioware, because it's a bit complex for me. It does take a while to get used to. Um, there are problems with the game's ending. To get the best ending in the game, you have to find all the chows, do all the missions, everything. I even have a strategy guide, and even with that at my side, I can't get the best ending in the game. I've seen both endings on YouTube. And neither of them are that good. So, Sonic Chronicles of Dark Brotherhood, I thought this was going to be a good Sonic game. But, in a lot of ways, it was a disappointment. So, if Sega does decide to make a new RPG, I suggest they make a better one than this one, because this one wasn't really that good. My rating for Sonic Chronicles of Dark Brotherhood is a 2.5 out of five it's not a bad game it's not a good game either it's mediocre is it worth buying unless you're a die-hard sonic fan i'd probably say no so it's a 2.5 out of five my next review will be house of the dead overkill on the nintendo wii but until then bye